Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's video, we are looking at how to create this wonderful poster in Photoshop. And guys, as you can see, this is MBA poster in Photoshop. So let's see it's MBA photo manipulation. So first of all, what we have to do. Use ten eighty by ten eighty pixels. Give it a name. Maintain the default settings and be complete. So after that, what you guys have to do is to depend on the image tool. I'll leave the PNG file in the description box for you guys. You can load the image uh, screenshot and open in the real folder. Make sure you scroll down. And then um, let's start with the background. So as you can see, I imported these two images into Photoshop. I created after that I created the layer max for this one. And after creating the layer max for this particular one, I went for the brush to maybe I After that what I did next was to create Medium fill, but I feel it the medium fill. So, this is the medium fill, guys. So, these are the colors that I use. Okay. Um, After that, I set the angle to 19.43, and I am going to see everything remains the same here. Yeah. So, when you add click on OK. After that, I set the blending mode from normal to soft light. After that, the next thing that I did was to create a shape using my pen tool. After that, so after creating the shape using the pen tool, I created the layer mask for it and um, I imported this image on top of the shape. After that, I, after creating the layer mask, I put the brush tool again that I erased this particular image from that place. After that, the next thing that I did was to insert my player. After inserting my player, what I did next was to give the player shadow under the feet. So after drawing the shadow after the feet, the next thing that I did was to go to the adjustment panel and click gradient map. So this is gradient map and this is gradient. So after taking the or after selecting the medium map, this is the color that I chose for the medium map. After that, the next thing that I did was to set the blending mode to saturation. So after setting it to saturation, what I did was to see my layer effects. So as you can see, I set the effect to drop shadow so the opacity is set to 7 percent in the blending mode is set to bias in the angle is set to 90 this time 0 pixels the spread is set to 9 percent and the set and the size is set to 46 pixels as you can see I think the setting is for what and click from OK so the next thing that I did guys was to create a screenshot of the entire way. After creating a screenshot of the entire way, what I did was to go to files and select camera roll filter. After selecting the camera roll filter, I did some adjustments. I added some color gradients or adjustments right over here so that or color correction so that my work will be neat and nice. So after that, the next thing that we did was to fix this NBA behind the player. So as you can see, I didn't bring this one and it only came to my mind early. So that the thing that uh, what I did was to type the NBA and change the font to Dr. Glitch. After changing the font to Dr. Glitch, I created the layer mask for it. And then I use the the leaf on top of the player so that it will match with the is the opacity to the next thing 
that I looked at is the Arin Ready. Look and drop shadow. So let's click on the look and With the opacity to 100 and the center color to black. After that, what I did was to add drop shadow to it. So with the drop shadow, the angle is at 31, the distance is at 29, the spread is at 19, and the size is at 26. After that, change the color to black and maintain the blending mode to normal. After that, click OK. So after that, what I did was to double click on it and uh, as you can see the underline yeah, I split this I press alt and split this one into two and split this one to two after that to drag the half to this particular place and the other half to the very end of this place that we okay and that is it. So with the next thing that I did was to add a photo filter. So as you can see with the photo filter, I press one photo to wrap it easy for to the color in orange. And to get the photo filter, you have to do the photo This is photo filter. Um, and I'm going to go with the ones that you are comfortable with. So the next thing was to set the vibrance and as you can see I set the vibrance to 7% plus 7 after that the added um, brightness to it. So when you come to the adjustment panel you will see all these um, tools or effects right over here. So the next thing that the next thing that I did was to add this uh, Record this logo with the NBA. After that, I added a, I added an effect to it with the color overlay. And with the color overlay, I set the color to white and the opacity is set to 95. After that, we can OK. And with the text, I added my channel name with the skating designs. And uh, place it right over here. So guys, this is the end of today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Guys, I have a lot of questions for you. So make sure this channel gets 11,000 subscribers. After that, I will use all these questions for you. Guys, to you guys for Thank you for watching. See you next time on my next video. Bye-bye.